The UNI Volleyball Program won another Missouri Valley Conference regular season title, MVC Tournament Championship. They advanced in the NCAA Tournament and finished the year with 33 wins to just two losses. Seniors Michelle Burrow and Bree Payton earned first-team all-conference, and for the third straight year, Payton was named the league's player of the year. Here's a feature now on this pair of senior volleyball players. Since redshirting in 2007, Bree Payton and Michelle Burrow have ravaged opponents of the UNI volleyball team. The team won 25 games their freshman year and then went on a run of three straight 30-win seasons, all while not losing a single MVC match their final three years. What they've done on the court has been absolutely amazing. I think it's neat that they both kind of started their rise together and I think part of it is both of them have helped each other to that you know they just have this sense with each other uh, and have this connection that I think is really special and I think it's just grown and developed over the years. Senior Michelle Burrow finishes her career ranked number one in UNI history with a 330 hitting percentage. She totaled 300 kills in three different seasons and had 380 blocks in her career. She's gotten the most out of her ability as a blocker. You know, obviously she's not huge, but she has great technique, so she's able to get a lot of touches on the ball. Um, but I think the other thing she brings to our court is just um, the calmness. You know, you never, she's never rattled. You have never seen her rattled in all the years that she's been playing here. You really don't know what's going on in her mind, and I think that's a really positive thing. And the hitting percentage is probably one of the biggest stats in my mind because it's the opportunities that you get. And, you know, obviously when you lead in kills, it probably means you're getting a lot of opportunities, but Michelle Michelle obviously is doing a lot with the opportunities that she's gotten and we've had some great middle blockers over the years, middle attackers and great connections with other setters uh, so for her to be at the top of that list is a pretty special thing. For senior center Bree Payton, she became only the second Panther to win the MVC Player of the Year award three years in a row, orchestrating the Panthers' dominant run through a tough league. Bree was the only active player in the NCAA to have over 4,000 career assists, over 1,200 career digs, and 800 career kills. That's the neat thing about Bree is that every single year she has developed in some area and just brought um, more of her game um, to the court. And obviously, you know, as a setter, and a, I think she started off being that attacker as a setter. And some people thought we were running a 6-2 with you know, her attacking with the numbers that she was putting up, but, um, you know, but she's just blossomed beyond that. Bree also left her mark, totaling 17 triple doubles in her career, breaking the old UNI record of six in her sophomore season. She was a producer, delivering the ball, digging the ball, and attacking. She's got to be playing all facets of her game to be doing that, but obviously, I think, you know, if you've watched our team enough, you know when Bree's in it to take it over and you know she does a great job of not going overboard but you can tell she's taking control she's trying to run she's trying to lead um, she's trying to get her teammates going and it's by uh, what you see in her face a lot of times and just you know when she goes up and puts the ball away hard two players that were both on the MVC all freshman team together and then both three-time first team all-conference players they finally have to say goodbye after one of the most impressive runs in UNI volleyball history these two have been huge um, to our program on the court. Everybody gets to see what they do, and uh, the numbers speak for themselves. And, you know, not just their individual numbers, but what they've been able to accomplish as a team uh, during the time that they've been here. But, you know, you, you miss so much more than those things. You know, those are two very special kids that we'll miss for a lot of reasons.